Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Matt Wilson. I am the Verisurf application engineer here at QTE. I want to do a quick video of the fair arm calibration. I know a lot of you guys have fair arms out there and have quick questions here and there. So I just wanted to kind of actually do a video on it real quick. So we're going to go through the whole compensation, sphere compensation, and then the plane calibration on the scanner. First thing I'm going to do is both the whole compensations. We're going to go ahead and get started. I already have my three millimeters selected. So I'm going to go in here and just do whole compensation. Um, I have mine set up to show inches up here. If you look up on top, I have it set up to do inches. So it'll, sometimes you guys see a big number in there. It's because it's a millimeter. So you, you'll run through your calibration. You'll see like 28 thousandths. And it's actually in millimeters. So it's actually only one thou. So we're going to go in here. And it tells us, shows us here three different places down in the crevices. So I'm just going to press the green button to get started. We'll go... One, accept it, two, let go, three, let go, red button, now it's telling me to do a rotation, so we'll rotate it, rotate it, and then red button to accept that, so we can see my error is two tenths, so we're set there, we're good to go, we can save and exit. Now we're going to do a sphere compensation. So we're going to go ahead and press start. This is going to have us walk around the part a little bit more than the whole compensation. So first thing is going to be straight up and down. Eleven shots. Then it tells us to rotate it on the right side right there. And then we can look at our probe twist our low gauge. So now it's saying actually I got to be 90 degrees, so I actually have to flip this over. Kind of like to rest on my arm a little bit. Now it tells me to rotate this. So now we got it rotated. So now we have our calibration done. So that was four tenths. The reason that was maybe a little bit bigger is because when you notice when I did my whole compensation, I didn't really move the arm too much at all. So now that I flipped it over, it's kind of doing a bigger window. Neither one is right or wrong, but you will see when you're doing the sphere, you might get a little bit bigger of a tolerance on your air, which we're still well within spec right there. So we're gonna go ahead and press save and exit. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this guy. Line up to there. So that's tight. We'll wait for this to get connected and we'll go and do the plane calibration. First thing we do here is we do eight points across with the probe and then we'll kind of do a couple different angles of the scanner to calibrate it. <clears throat> so we're connected. We can go ahead and activate it as our, what we want to use. Then we can go ahead and do a plane compensation. First thing, like I said, eight points across the profile. Measure plane. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll press red button to accept it. Green button to get the calibration started. So first things first is we're going to go right here. Next angle is going to be right here. Make sure we try and aim for the center of this plate right here. Next one's right here. Okay, last one's going to be this rotation. Last one is straight up and down. 
So we calibrated within one thou. Our specification for this exact scanner is two thousandths right here. So we're, we're well within. And we can go ahead and save and exit. Now we got a, a fresh, fresh calibration on our probe and a fresh calibration on our scanner. It really didn't take that long. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you guys want to see anything different, anything else, go ahead and just reach out to me and let me know. Have a good one.